Welcome to the Paige Turner Adventures Creative Literacy Program. Filled with crafts and activities that get kids excited about books and reading. So we're going to make one of my absolute favorite projects, which is this hot air balloon. It's a lot of fun, it's easy, and I love hot air balloons. It's really, you know, a good thing for a travel theme, and also, you know, hot air balloons are colorful, and I do have to say that my character that I play, Paige Turner, travels the world in a hot air balloon, so they have a special place in my heart. And in fact, the set that we are on right now is Paige Turner's hot air balloon. This is my very fancy basket. So anyway, we are going to make this hot air balloon, and it is kind of a cross between decoupage and, um, and paper mache. And it's really, it's one of these projects that really works well for a wide age range. I've done this with, with five-year-olds, and it's a little bit messier when it's done with five-year-olds. Um, I've done it up until uh, seven-year-olds, 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds. You can also just do this as a decoration for a library or even a classroom. So here's what we're going to start out with. We're gonna put this over here. The first step is going to be just going over the materials. So the first thing that you need is tissue paper. You're gonna need some white glue and water. We're gonna make a mixture of this, any kind of just regular white craft glue. You're going to need um, something for your basket. These little ice cream cups work well, or even a Dixie cup will work well. Um, you're going to need some scissors, a hole puncher, Paint brushes, I like these slightly bigger paint brushes, a smaller one will work as well. You definitely need a balloon, very important. Some paint, some string, some tape, a place to, this is going to be um, just kind of the base that we're going to use to work on our balloon. And then finally, last but not least, a little paper clip. That's what we're going to use to hang our balloon when it is all dry and we are finished. So the first step is going to be to cut up your tissue paper. Now, you do not need to be precise. You do not need to be exact. You don't need to measure it. Please don't. Um, just You're going to make squares or even triangles or rectangles. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's say they're about two inches by two inches, somewhere around there. They can be bigger. They can be smaller. Doesn't really matter. And you can do it with, you know, I have many layers, so you're not cutting one piece at a time. All right, so that's step one. I'm going to put that aside now. And now we're going to make the base for our hot air balloon, which is a balloon. And I'm going to just blow it up. Not too much, that's about right. You don't want it to be too huge. Okay, and now I'm going to use this empty container as my base. There we go. The next step is going to be the strings because as you can see, there are strings that come down and they're actually going around the entire balloon. So I'm going to cut two pieces of string. You can use twine, you can use yarn, whatever you want to do. And you're going to cut about, let's see, we want it to hang down to about there. So that's about a yard. You're going to cut two pieces about that length. And if you're not sure how long to cut it, err on the side of too long, because you can always trim it when you're done. But if it's too short, then you'll be in trouble. Okay, so I'm going to take my two pieces of string and I'm going to lay one on top of the balloon so that it's fairly even. And I'm going to use my scotch tape to tape down my string. You just don't want to necessarily, you don't want to put it right on the very top because that's where our paper clip is going to go eventually. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other string and I'm going to do a cross on the top. I do suggest taping them down low here as well so they stay in place. Okay, so that's your first step with your balloon after you've cut up your tissue paper. One more step before we can start gluing, and that is to mix our glue. So I'm going to take some water, 
and I'm gonna mix it with some white glue. And it's about one to one, about equal parts water to equal parts glue. Um, and if you have a little bit more water, that's fine. This should be a pretty, um, pretty liquidy type of glue. So I'm gonna use almost the whole container here, pretty much the entire container, into the glue. So that's why it's kind of like uh, Mod Podge. I like to use this mixture for a lot of things. Now I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to use one of these little uh, sponge brushes just because it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, mix up your glue, mix up your water and that is our mixture. So you can see that it is pretty, um, pretty liquidy. And there we have it. Now we're ready to start putting the tissue paper on our balloon. And I'm going to put some of the glue just right onto the balloon and you're going to be covering up those strings. So be pretty generous with your glue, get it nice and wet. Put the tissue paper on. And that's it, you're just gonna go all around your balloon adding pieces. And that first layer doesn't really matter. You can also start with a couple layers right away. And stick it on and just get it nice and wet. And this is why the nice big pieces are, are good. Now I don't want to cover up too much. I want to make sure I've got a little bit of a space there so that I have a spot to put my, my paper clip later. A little tip it's very easy to just start doing everything on one side, but what happens if you continue doing one side and then start to go to the other side, that side will get a little heavy and the balloon might want to tip over and out of the cup. So try to do an even layer as much as you can all the way around the balloon before doing your second layer. Okay, as we get to this part, you don't want to cover the entire thing because I want to have a space. I want my strings to hang correctly. So I'm going to go just right about to about an inch from the balloon nozzle. Okay, so we have our first layer. There we go. Look at that. First layer, we're going to do the whole thing that we just did. We're going to do that again and just add a whole nother layer on top of what we did. It's actually a little bit easier now though because it's all wet. And this is where you might want to play a little bit more with some of your colors. I have some purple under here. So I'm going to pull out some colors because now you're going to see some of those colors a little bit more. So we are obviously speeding up this process because you don't need to see me sitting here gluing all of these on right now. But the entire thing, um, the length of this project, um, it will probably take about 45 minutes or so to complete depending on how precise you're being or how precise the kids are being or the age group. And it will take you about 45 minutes to an hour. <clears throat> okay, so I have my two layers. I'm just gonna go back over and make sure that there's no dry spots in there. And now I'm going to let this dry. And it will take, um, it will take overnight to dry. So if you have a program that is just a one day program, you can send the kids home with it and tell the parents that, <clears throat> that it needs to dry. You can even move on to the second step with it while it's wet, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to make the basket of our balloon. And for the basket, you're going to use either a little ice cream cup like this. Um, and if you use the ice cream cup, you're gonna take the cover off Keep that cover, set it aside. We're gonna use that for a completely different project later. I like to use all the different parts of things. So ice cream cup, you can also use Dixie cups if you've got a big group. Um, these are also easier because you don't have to paint them, but I'm going to use the ice cream cup because I like the shape of it and the size of it. So the first step you're going to do is actually punch some holes in your cup because this is what we're going to tie the strings of our balloon to. So I'm gonna use a hole puncher. I'm just going to punch some holes in my cup. And I did not do this the right way because they are a little cockeye, so try to make them even so that your balloon hangs somewhat evenly. But if you do it cockeye, you can just add more holes and then pick your holes. All right, so now I've got a lot of holes to choose from. And now I'm going to paint my ice cream cup. So I've got some 
acrylic green paint. I put some paint in my styrofoam plate. Got my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint my cup. Okay, so I'm going to set my basket aside to dry and the hot air balloon is drying and we're gonna fast forward a little bit as if everything is all dry already and I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. So first, I'm going to take my paper clip and I'm going to bend it so that it's a hook and that there's a hook over here and I have my little string on top that I did not cover and that is so that I can loop the paper clip, squeeze it closed, and now I've got my little hook. And now I'm going to attach these strings to my cup. So, whoo, here's the, here's the trick with this. You can attach the strings by yourself, but it's much easier to do this if you have a friend to help you. So I'm going to ask a friend to help me hold my hot air balloon. There you go, friend, thanks. Okay, so it helps because I'm going to attach these strings and I'm kind of going to want to see how it hangs. And these strings are a little bit short. They're a little bit shorter than they should be because I'd already cut this one, but I'm going to just tie them in a knot. There we go, and once you're sure it's all right, you can go back and double knot it if you want. But there we have it, our little hot air balloon. It's flying off, bye-bye, bye. For more great crafts and activities, visit our blog at pageturneradventures.com.